What's going on fam, welcome back to the channel. I am very excited to bring you another very special boot review. Today is the Puma 1.1 Laser Touch in the FG slash AG variation. We are going to jump straight into the video. All right fam, per usual with the Puma boxes, comes in a red, straight up Puma box with the Puma logo. Puma here, the sizing chart, which I think is super cool, like sizing conversion. These are in my usual size nine US. So as you can see, there is that sizing right there. So again, size nine US, these are the all white variation. So a white out, they also sell the blackout in the special edition. Uh, these, this like laser touch leather upper colorway. And basically what laser touch is, is it's a really thin soft leather that's put in place of the synthetic material uh, that covers the boot. Anything that's not that fusion fit plus band that goes around the midfoot. Now you guys have seen, I've reviewed the 1.1s and the 1.2s um, and all of those have the same construction of that fusion fit plus band around the midfoot. So that's something to keep in mind when looking at this boot in particular. It it's known for the technology in that midfoot and its comfort in that midfoot because it allows a little bit of stretchability. So let's straight hop straight into the unboxing of this one. I am really excited to see how these ones in particular fit. You guys know that I do really enjoy the Tiempo Legend 9 Elites and those are an all leather boot. These are obviously a much thinner leather upper. So I am curious to know how these fit and feel on feet. Um, I'm sure they'll look amazing because I actually think the future one, the future Z 1.1s, these ones and 1.2s both fit, uh, both look really cool. They're a very unique looking book, uh, boot. So I'm very excited. So let's just hop straight into the unboxing. Um, with Puma boots in particular, this is one thing that I wish they would do differently. When you open the box, you've got no string bag, no, even though these are technically special edition because they're the laser touch version, which is that leather instead of the synthetic, it doesn't come with any special edition paper, no boot bag, just the boots. So Puma could probably step it up. That being said, these retail for $200 US. Maybe these ones are a little bit more than that, they're like $220, um, but that's still under the normal retail price of some of the other boots in this category. So other boots that are sort of skill and control boots, maybe I would consider a Phantom GT in this category, maybe I would consider, let's see, I don't know if a Predator is quite in this category, maybe something else. It's kind of a confusing, they've kind of, made their own category with this particular boot. And obviously nowadays, instead of there being control boot, shooting boot, touch boot, and I don't know, speed boot maybe, like those four categories, people have sort of started to market in their own ways to differentiate from the other boots in on the market, especially at certain price points. So if you look at all the $250 boots, they all say something a little bit different based on what they're going, what market they're going for. So let's open these up. Ooh. Oh yeah. Okay, so whiteout boots are often very, very cool. Uh, and this is also their, I don't know if this really matters, but it's a patented technology that they have. It's probably just some, I don't know, it allows them to laser etch designs into this leather. So it's got actually a super cool uh, design in that upper, right in the four foot toe box area. Let's get the other one out as well. These are really cool looking. Um, I do, again, as I said before, I really do like how the future looks. I think it does look pretty awesome and players like Neymar wear these. Um, I don't think they got, they got a lot of hype right at the beginning and then people started saying like, oh, they don't, they, don't, they just do a lot of things really well. They don't do one particular thing amazing. So if you are into kind of a jack of all trades type boot, this might be the boot to go for. So initial impressions, it, everything looks almost identical to the other futures that I've reviewed, both the 1.1 and 1.2, except obviously this has leather in the forefoot area. It doesn't look like or feel like there's leather no, there's not. Okay, so everything about this boot is the exact same, except for the piece of material that goes up and around to about here. So if you think about the the knuckle of your toe, uh, right where it sits right there, right where you would you know clip it to bend the ball. So that's about where that leather starts all the way around to uh, about the same 
distance on either side. So the leather is just in that toe box. It looks like and feels like um, I'd have to do some more internet reset re research on that one. Uh, obviously, the Fusion Fit Plus band is in all white. I I reviewed the Neymar colorway with that rainbow in the middle, which I think looks really, really cool. That was an awesome colorway. And then those all blue 1.2s, which were also a really cool colorway as well. Um, it's got the Evo knit upper per usual, so that's part of the collar. I'll take uh, some of these, some of this stuff out just so I can show you guys kind of the softness of the upper. Um, it does have a, a pretty good amount of softness. These boots, I, I don't think are marketed towards players who want like a speed boot feel. They're not meant to be hyper thin and have this like one-to-one -one barefoot sensation on feet. But I will say these are a uh, really nice fitting pair of football boots. Uh, oh, by the way, I totally lied about the sizing. I think I got an eight and a half. I was just thinking about this. Yeah, I've got an eight and a half US. I apologize about that. Uh, I will put that up on screen at the beginning of the video. So um, people who are watching this will basically disregard this certain piece. But these are actually an eight and a half because I found the eight and a half, the half size down, to fit better than my normal size nine. That's because the size nine fits about a quarter length too long. And because I have really wide and sort of like flat feet at the top, like my toes are pretty pretty much like that, it makes way more sense for me and they fit better to go eight and a half. So I'm really hoping these fit as well. And with the leather upper, you might get a little more stretch than a normal future. I don't know. Obviously I'll have to see kind of over time. If these do fit really well uh, in my first impression on feet part of this video, which you guys can watch in just a second, this is a boot that I would definitely consider wearing because I do like the fact that it's got mostly conical studs. Um, it's a really just well-rounded boot and it's got a lot of flexibility in that midfoot area where I have super wide feet. So if these do fit really well straight out of the box, I definitely consider wearing this particular boot in the rotation of boots that I've been um, kind of going through. I, in most of the trials recently, I've been wearing the Tampa Legend 9. Um, also have been wearing Phantom Venoms uh, every once in a while, off and on. Those have been like a favorite of mine for a while now since they came out a couple of years ago. And then my Hyper Venom Phantom 3s that I wear on very special occasions. Um, but these would be a great option for me to jump into at some point, uh, which I think would be great. So that's ob obviously if they fit well, if they don't fit well, then they will not be staying around. But they are definitely uh, a boot that I would consider because I think it's a really cool concept and I'm super excited what they do with the next iteration of the Future Z. I don't know if it'll be like a Future Z 1.3 or whether they'll do something totally different. They'll call it a, you know, the Puma Future something else or they'll completely rebrand what this particular silo is. But for right now, these are a super cool option and I love the detail of the leather. I think the leather feels really soft, really nice as you can see, just pushing it, you know, with with my finger there, it's 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 super soft. This boot has a really nice amount of stretch through the lacing system and obviously through the midfoot. And then it's got a bit of structuring on the outside here and then on the medial side here as well. So that basically allows your foot to sit in there and have a good amount of lateral stability, but also being able to stretch a little bit there. So you'll, you might even see that Fusion Fit Plus band stretching as your foot slides in, and then everything kind of comes together when you tie those laces tight. When I tied the laces tight on the other ones, again, this will be these will fit probably exactly the same, minus maybe a little bit of different feel in the toe box because of the leather, as the 1.2s. Um, I'm going off of size, not off of uh, the 1.1 versus 1.2. So because these are the same size as the 1.2s that I reviewed, 1.1 and 1.2 are essentially the same boot, which I don't know why. I talked about it in the other video. I don't know why they like renamed it. That was kind of dumb. But I do really like how there's a lacing, lacing hole here and here. So it gives you a ton of flexibility and freedom in this area to sort of stretch into that foot. And because that's where I'm at basically my widest in my foot, it provides a really nice feel for me going forward. So that's sort of my first impression of these. Again, you've got the laser touch. Um, the Grip Control Pro is that uh, essentially it's like Nike's ACC technology. So Grip Control Pro is like their synthetic coating that goes like super thin synthetic coating that goes around the outside. And you can kind of feel it. It's a little bit, you know, it, it's a little sticky. Uh, and what that'll do is it allow water to sort of wick off 
the leather upper will probably get a little wet and that's what it is. It'll probably soak up water a little bit more than this synthetic material will. And then of course the knit gets wet and it gets soaking. So I guess there's not really any reason, but it's a cool, like, I don't know, marketing gimmick. Um, of course the Evo Knit Pro upper and then the, um, that Fusion Fit Plus band. So that's something to keep in mind. So overall, great pair of football boots in hand. They are, they're like pretty average as far as weight goes. I don't think there's, they're definitely not as light as a speed boot, but they're also not as heavy as something like a Predator uh, or even a Copa, uh, which is, which both of those are like more solid feeling football boots, not from necessarily a, uh, these will break after one, or these won't break after one use type thing, but just as far as weight and, and heftiness goes. So without further ado, let's hop into the on-feet portion of the video. I'm gonna go out to the pitch and try these on so that I can get a little bit of juggling. Um, they are all white, so I gotta be kind of careful because if I have to clean them and send them back, then uh, we gotta be careful there. But let's go to the field and try on the Puma Future 1.1 Z in the special edition, laser touch edition all white edition, edition. What is going on fam? All right, so we are here down at the pitch. It is Magnuson Park, my home field. It's the field that I grew up playing on, played high school here, and this is where I train when I'm home. It's a, actually a really nice turf pitch. So we've got the Future Z 1.1s in this really cool all white colorway laser touch. I'm actually, while I'm doing this laces, I'm gonna grab a ball really quick and we'll hop straight into some uh, juggling and stuff. I just wanna see kind of what the what the deal looks like, how they fit and feel. Um, I'm pretty confident I'm gonna know how these fit and feel, but uh, let's, let's go for it. And you guys will see a bunch of like B-roll stuff of these boots close up on my feet uh, during this whole portion, so don't worry about that. So slide right in. I'm not gonna wear grip socks for this portion. Oh, I forgot about how good these feel. Holy crap, man. Okay, genuinely surprised by how fantastic these feel. Um, wow, okay. Let's get the other one on before making any like overarching statements. I slide my foot in really easily. Again, these are an eight and a half, so these are a little bit smaller um, than my usual, so they're a bit tight. Uh, but they fit better. They fit like my toe fits right up on the edge, which is the most important thing for me. So we'll lock this into place, tie those laces tight, and see how the lockdown feels. So far, man, I am so impressed by these. Goodness. Um, okay, we'll just, uh, let's see. Got to retie these. Uh, so right away, I'm noticing a really, really significant uh, ability for this shoe to get um, like tight to all the little nooks and crannies of your foot, if that makes sense. So what I mean by that, I'll try to explain that in a different way. Like the shoe does a really nice job of molding to your foot, which is super, super cool. And they look a little bit tight on my feet, but I guarantee you once I break them in, they'd actually managed to fit super, super well. Okay, so here they are on feet. And as I mentioned, these are so comfortable actually. I'm really shocked. I love the Fusion Fit Plus band that goes on the midfoot. It does a really good job of stretching to uh, the width of my foot. It's a pretty thin upper. So again, playing with the ball, like, let's see, do a little bit of juggling. Uh, good touch on the ball. I really like how that leather feels. Uh, obviously, m the majority of the boot is not leather, so keep that in mind. If you're looking for a leather particular boot, like definitely go with something like a Tiempo or even a Copa. By the way, the reason I'm wearing such warm clothes is because it's actually really cold outside. It's like just above freezing. But we're out here anyway, grinding for you guys. Hit that like button if you're getting value from it. Um, so as far as width goes, I'm finding because the widest part of my foot is in that midfoot where that Fusion Fit Plus band is, it's actually offering a ton of width in my foot and I could definitely feel, you know, I could definitely play in these, I think. Um, you know, passing the ball, I'm not actually sure how that would go, but we can definitely try it into the net here in just a minute, but as far as sole plate goes, sole plate feels good, feels a little bit springy, which is nice. I do really like that. Um, 
And again, like I love the way the collar fits around my foot. Uh, the, the heel is a little bit awkward. I do feel like it's, it, it fits okay. It doesn't feel great. That could be the fact that I'm wearing these socks and it also could be the fact that I'm, uh, these are brand new. So obviously they'll, you know, shape a little bit differently a little bit later once I break them in. But the touch on the ball, pretty good. Uh, obviously I'm kind of fire at juggling. So, you know, it's uh, one of those things like player better than the boot, you know what I mean? But no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. But well, I'm not actually, but the boots are great. Uh, the boots feel really nice and uh, wow. Uh, yeah, definitely would, would definitely would recommend checking these out. Uh, you could go with something like the synthetic model, the normal 1.1 or 1.2. I think this particular boot could be a fantastic option for, again, those of you who are looking for something that's like, it does everything pretty well. It's not amazing at any one particular thing, but it does most things really well. And for a lot of players, that's what's important. They just want an overall really nice boot that fits, you know, fine, fits well, and just does the job and what they need it to. And I think these would definitely fit the bill on that one. So go check these ones out. Um, the leather, again, it's not going to make a significant difference. I think it's more of a look thing and more of like a special edition. Hey, we put, le you know, a bit of leather that's engraved on our boots. But for the most part, I don't think these are going to be anything crazy spectacularly different from the normal 1.1 or 1.2 future z so keep that in mind as you are uh, looking for these boots i've gotten a ton of questions about the sizing yes these are a half a size down i could absolutely wear a nine if i wanted to but i am a player that loves to have almost zero space on the front of my boots that is why it's so hard for me to find boots because when i find boots that are the same shape so my my toe comes right up to the end, it's often very difficult for me to get boots that actually have the width that I need. But these are stretching and I've tied these tight and these are brand new and these are feeling pretty good. I gotta say, these are feeling pretty good. They're feeling tight for sure. They're, they're crushing my feet a little bit, but not in necessarily a bad way. In like the, hey, these are brand new, they gotta break in a little bit. So let's, uh, let's do a little bit more juggling and then we'll call the video there. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you get value from these boot reviews. As always, be awesome. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next video.